do it from the top. Hey Byron, how you doing? Eric and I are Morning, here Byron. So we wanted to show you some of the things we talked about here, some ideas on estimating systems and the importance of, I, I figure it's important to know why you uh, need an estimating system that's really gonna break down in detail how it's gonna work for you. But some of the reasons that you need an estimating system and the importance of it is it's gonna be consistent for you. Uh, every job's gonna be consistent as far as the number, the output, you're gonna have covered costs, you're gonna put your profit margins in there. They're all gonna be covered, it's gonna be dependable. So um, whether you come in and do assist an, uh, an estimate, whether you're feeling you know, lazy or more energetic, you put the numbers in, it's gonna spit out you know, a good number for you to bid on. It's gonna give you confidence in bidding jobs, so it's gonna give you confidence in bidding small jobs, it's gonna give you confidence in bidding larger jobs. So whether there's five trees on a job or 500, it won't matter, the system's gonna detail everything in, figure everything out for you as you put the information in and spit out a good number for you. Uh, it's gonna adjust for all variables, and I'll quickly go over what I mean by that. It's like adjusting for all variables. Say you have 10 trees, and if this is a street, and this is the driveway, and this is 25 feet, right here. So if you plant trees up along here and they're only 25 feet off the driveway, you can do them for your, I'll say, average cost you figured in. But when it just for variables, if these 10 trees are now, this is a street, and now they're 300 feet back off from where you have to wheel them in, right, wheel them in, and now the grade is like this, going uphill, and you got your guys wheeling uphill, so it makes a big difference, or you're bulk carting them up or whatever. So you can see, so what I mean by adjusting for variable is if you would figure in a little more labor per hour per tree in this scenario than you would for this one, if that makes sense. So that's what I mean by adjusting for variables. It's gonna be reliable. Um, you're not gonna be guessing upon your feelings, uh, your, your emotions, whether you feel like you're really confident that day when you start to bid a job or you're feeling not so confident. It doesn't matter, you put the information in, it's gonna be reliable, it's not gonna be emotional, which is really huge. It's gonna reduce callbacks, because uh, like Eric, Eric and I talked about, um, say this 300 foot run is up this hill, and say we're not gonna wheel them up, say we're gonna take them up with a skid steer. Um, well, what happens is you're gonna rut this up, you know, if you're taking them up to a plateau to plant these trees. You're gonna rut that path up, and when you break down the estimating system the way I'm gonna show you, it figures in for fixing, you know, ruts that the skid steer puts in, things like that. Because you basically start from the ground up and you build the job in your head as you're estimating it. So you're building it from the time you load the tr tools and equipment, trees on your trucks, your travel time to the job, the time it takes to get the stuff off the trucks, get organized, get the tree, into the skid steer bucket, get your crews organized, who's gonna take it up there, drop the tree off, and that's gonna organize like, okay, we're traveling 300 feet up this hill, we're gonna dig this hill up, and then you're gonna turn around here and mess it up here, and you're gonna mess it up here where you load them. So somebody's gotta fix that. Now we got 300 feet of the worst kind, the, the skinny little tr tire tracks to fix or repair. So, when you do that and you cover it, then you end up doing a good job because now people are happy, you fixed the problems, you fixed the, what you messed up. So it's gonna reduce callbacks, if that makes sense, which is gonna reduce complaints. So when you reduce complaints, then you can get good referrals. And when you get good referrals, then you can build your business because people are happy. And the really nice thing, Eric and I were talking about it, um, this estimating system reduces stress because now, after you give uh, a client a number, uh, a dollar figure for the job, you're not sitting there worrying like, how ah, did I figure everything in? Or what did I miss? Or am I too low? Am I too high? And, you know, you, and when you have that mentality from job to job, it wears on you after a while because now you're just like constantly doubting yourself and you're trying to figure out. And then they call back and they're like, well, you're too high. And then you're like, oh, am I? I don't know if I am or not. It throws, you, it throws you totally into a, like a turmoil, like 
maybe this customer's right. And then you start thinking, they know more than I do, which they don't. We talked about that, but you think like, maybe I did throw it in too high because they just said I thought it was too high, which they always do. So these are the benefits of learning this estimating system. I wanted to shoot this quick video for you so you can sort of understand it and um, get an idea why you want to do it. And these are just, there's more too. We just uh, went over some of these. So we're going to get into the actual estimating here shortly and um, try to keep you updated. So uh, that's all for now. Take care, bud. Yeah, I heard. Bye, Byron.